Everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic Friday today. This is a really disturbing video that I went out there and accumulated everything that I could that was disgusting from looking up gore, BDSM, anything in between, some words I can't even put on or I might get demonetized. Although the pictures may feel like they could do that, this is for educational purposes and to bring a community together because YouTube seems to be suppressing people with the algorithm, including people like myself. Although I do enjoy the time that I have and I appreciate it, I feel like more of others can get together and do that through this video that I'm creating today. Now we're going through three different ideas and topics. One of them is just what I've been looking up strictly. You can sort of find in figure out what I may have possibly looked up to get all these songs and these bands together so that everyone that likes gore or even horror in the most gore will really like and enjoy my video and have a platform to actually go to and check out other people as well so we can expand that type of aesthetic for others and that lifestyle that people like. With YouTube suppressing everything, this video made a lot of sense to me. And a lot of the other videos did too, as they only have maybe a few hundred views. Some of them do have a couple thousand, maybe even 10,000, but for a majority of them, they are under like the big marginal marks to becoming famous. And this is what I have for everyone today. I did a lot of digging and went down, down, down to figure out stuff. And I looked up everything that I could so that everyone can enjoy this video and please watch it and enjoy it. Put up your big screen, buckle up and get ready. Here we go, Maggot Twat is the first one. Utterly disgusting name for a band. Maggot Twat reminds me of AC as well, which is quite similar. And the type of style and music that they make is, is really spot on with it. Stuffed animal orgy. Keep in mind when you look up any of these videos because YouTube suppresses the algorithm. As I mean that, like the people that you want to actually find watch their videos. So I had to look in a lot of niche words. You type in exactly maggot twat and put in stuffed animal and then the end word there, which I'm not going to say because I might get in trouble for it. And I just want to have this video out for as many people as I can. And I want them all to enjoy that. This next band, I can't really say exactly what it is here because I can't get the words out. This is the only band that I couldn't do. But if you can decipher that, look them up. I think it's like called 7HD and then the rest of the words, I don't know. But the cover of it does look good. There's a lot of gore in it. It looks like a destructed and totally um, exploded person there on the ground. Now this one is one of the funniest ones that I came across. The band name is literally as seen up there, P-E-N-I-S, and at the bottom it says, doing pagan things to Christian people. <laughs> and we see this guy and he looks like a joke because he's got the clown stuff on, he's totally into black metal, and he's a loner that sits inside and complains that his fast food wasn't delivered fast enough, and then like starts giving people lashings and like smiting them and then goes and burns down his local pizza hut because they didn't give him his seven up and the spikes make him look a little bit more um, offensive or defensive i guess i'm not really sure what this guy's trying to look for with his work this song is this band is actually really good i think it's just one song from the band but like check it out doing pagan things to christian holes this band name, Dismemberment, reminds me of like four other bands that could be called Dismemberment and sort of similar to like Devourment or Peg Destroyer type of style. PFT, Flytrap, check them out. Dismemberment, really good. Gutturals, loud, screaming. This band, I did hear about a long time ago. I haven't had the time to look it up myself for a long time. Although this is the first time that I actually thought of doing it because I never would have done this unless I thought that I had a really disgusting idea to make a video that could be enticing to a lot of people and then could actually bring a certain category of them together and just expand the community a little bit. So here we go. I'm not going to say it. You can just read it there and then I'll go on to the next one now. This one is called uh, Nasty Pig. I'm not going to say the last word. Filthy Pleasure. You can see right there there's two Asian ladies. They're probably getting it in by an octopus right now. And it's also choking them through the mouth, through the octopus, uh, through the octopus tentacles. Some people do like that because what it does for them, it gives them a sense of danger when that octopus could potentially just slither down their esophagus. Yeah, it can like get stuck inside of their air pipe or something and, you, and then like eat their insides. Like who knows what octopus do, but it looks really dirty and unsanitary and I like it and I thought that was really cool. This one is sort of ironic, I guess, in the way that it says Iron P Total Penisography. 1987-1991. Wild! 
wow, it's so long ago, and this music is up to date of what I would listen to now, like what would be like of the 20th century type of style music. I'm not really too sure if music has like different areas of sound nowadays, because you can say, oh, you know, back in the day, I wish I was born in the 80s. I wasn't, I wasn't meant to be born nowadays. Well, you check this out and you feel, well, even back then, that music relates to what people would be listening to now. And it's quite similar. And I'm pretty sure this one is like a rock band or a more of a metal band. But you have to go back and check it out. Uh, it's the total penisography, so you have a lot to listen to there. Amphetamine penis. Oh, gonna, gonna break, break down. down. It's probably because of the amphetamine and all the alcohol and cigarettes that you're using to kill yourself on. Now, this band screams punk music and it is a punk band so you can check that out a lot of these bands are all, anything to do the, with the extreme i do have a lot more coming up this isn't just it although i'll get to the ending as soon as i can this band name is called amphetamine penis and at the bottom it says gonna break down and they are gonna break down with all that needle use of amphetamines there's got to be a reason why your wiener doesn't work anymore inside of things that you really wish that it would and yeah that's a little too much detail i guess for that one Check it out, really good band, and they're just waiting to die off of a amphetamine overdose. Yeah. This band is a cross of like ACDC and some type of other 80s metal. You know, if anything screamed bisexuality, it would be this man just wanting to show his wiener at everything and most likely getting away with it. Um, straight men most likely can't. I believe this one is a good band as well too. I actually showed someone this not that long ago and they said it was really uh, crappy band and I thought you know it actually is and that's really cool Servisectomy penis inserted through butthole exclosed through mouth this is the demo now as you can see there's only like 900 views on this and for the more obvious reasons it's most likely going to stay like that until viewers get together and check out that video and see how you like the music it's a lot of gutturals and such very cool this is one of the most creative arts that i've seen when i was looking up everything scrolling down youtube scrolling down the endless and then searching up hashtags and putting every word combination of anything gruesome and disgusting together that goes into the extreme metal trying to stay away from the the more obvious part of it which is uh i can't even say the word but it's type of grindcore music and the hour of the toilet sounds hilarious sounds like you've been sitting on the toilet too much that you just you know, your insides fell out and uh, whatever you had with the bola came out of your eyeballs. Maybe you started drinking too much and then you blacked out after smacking your head off of the toilet and the blood started like spilling everywhere. And foot topsy, uh, mutant penis, mutant fetus. Very cool, check them out. This band name, Auberance, really nice as well too. Uh, fish hooking a wiener. And if you've ever had a fish hook inside of your hand, or even in your clothing or stuck to the seat of your car, you know that it's really hard to get out. Although I don't really play around with sharp utensils, some people do, and they're really into that. And if you are, check that out. You like singing a little bit too loud, and you like turning up the volume and expanding that a little bit too much, then this is for you. Check them out. This band is a mock band of another one that was out in the late 2000s, around 2008 to 2012. It was a scene or emo band. Although I am what I am now, I guess, for some other reason. I'm not really too sure, but life has led me here and life has led me to D-I-C-K-S. Um, and what I mean by that is the Owl Ate My Metal, you know, and it's a mockumentary band of the other one. They're both cool. I wonder if they're actually the same band because they sound similar almost the same except without really high-pitched girly music that's the best that i can explain emo music from back in the day for all those sleeping for all those wake up and watch more owls eating metal wieners i threw this band in because i liked it a lot it's called love uh, sex machine and really nice just cool overall uh, niche artwork not as gory as the other ones there's a couple of those in here that's it razor it i'm not going to say the end of that word as well people are naked and they're covered up for a reason although in the other album art when you look them up it may not always be like that and i just noticed when i was watching this that there's an arm or something being pulled out of the girl the lady pig's butt uh, that looks like in intestines total grindcore type of music for sure yeah blood gore just like bathing in blood sort of like Lady Bathory would back in the day, uh, except they're not drinking it in this one, and the walls are covered in blood. This one reminds me of Hilla, although it's not the exact same type of music, it's similar, it's really short, and I think somebody just made this for fun back in the day, just to say they could, and if I ever got a hold of them, and if any of these people that are in the video ever watch this, like, please contact me, I wonder what was going on in your mind. This is something that you would have seen back in the day in the scene. Four days, it looks like crunk core. They like to get drunk off of lean. 
a gold, money, you know, bitches and partying all day long. They love that. Weed and marijuana used to be seen as like a badass drug and it's like so edgy and wow. It's like double-edged sword with this, like double edge. Like so severe, man. Like funny song actually. Check it out. <sighs> We're going elbow deep in this one, boys, ladies and gentlemen. Called Elbow Deep Bodily Fluids. There's a rat in the cover of this eating the inside of a lady. I'm not sure she could have been pregnant. A lot of people like to do that and have the child being eaten by the rat. Now at this point, you have to wonder what type of people really watch and listen to this type of music and who would do that disgusting and disturbing while well, people like gore people like those types of movies i'm not into horror but i will watch a lot of gore and i feel like there's a huge difference between them two cover arts just look really cool for the next one though it's called formally i'm pretty sure it says that the room in the morgue they're really cool just blood gore everywhere just shattered and decimated all over the walls or even made out of dead people you can see the faces coming out of them total total grindy and like hardcore stuff and just edgy and like a uh, big you know it's like the kyles would listen to this of metal <sighs> this band is called sexual atrocities planet of the this is this has to be the second or they're tied up with the first one when we were looking up um the penisology of the other band now we have this uh the sexual atrocities of planet of the r's and we can see here there is a giant wiener just smashing earth as if it's like the biggest asteroid that's ever went down to hit and would cause enormous earthquake flooding the whole universe as we can see here there's blood on land everyone died and then everything's going to start to flood clearly if you wanted to scream out and say look i am I'm a total asshole and and you should listen to my music and I'm funny this would be it like I said earlier if you are watching this video and you made it this far I don't know how you did it and I said don't watch it you can just like just click there and leave I'm not sure if I said that in the beginning if I didn't I'm sorry and just uh, yeah I'm sorry now but yeah here here that is planet of the sexilia atrocities found a video online as well when I was looking up all these videos you come across a lot of niche channels so I go on to them click them out and I found this one here which has a really bizarre feel to it that brings me back to like the late um, 80s something like that when they were using like cell art shading or whatever that they would use in like anime the feeling I get from this is that someone took a lot of LSD and maybe even mix it with DMT and had like a, a little bit of mushrooms when they went into it and then they started tripping out and then made this video. However they made it, I don't know how you would edit something like that even nowadays. Like I can understand when you're trying to make something realistic, but when you make something not realistic, they're just adding and mashing everything together like it's a collage, which was awesome and it suited my aesthetic of what I wanted to get out and everything else that I looked up feel like it did create that quite well now this channel has actually went down since no one goes on it or does anything and I left a comment on one of their videos and maybe another video as well and when we're looking into this we can even see hands if we go back to it I think there's a giant I think there's like a wiener in it as well too coming out of in between one of the hands just so they could be edgy and you know throw people off looks like tony hawk's pro skater with like the graffiti art mixed into like these little digital pixels that would give other people seizures so yeah i guess i'll leave a seizure warning at the start of this video the next one is called sovhorror.com which has not just anything to do with nothing but more so to do with horror when we watch this video it will show you a lot of stuff that they as you can see, it looks like they made themselves, the ladies in there, with like a whip just smashing people up and ultimately leaving gore and horror everywhere for people that like BDSM. This is probably the place that you would have to go to like check stuff out. This, these channels, mind you, have been around forever. I wanted to keep in even ones that don't have a lot of views and that's majorly what I pointed at. The ones that didn't have a lot of views were actually the ones that made sense to me to throw in this video surprisingly, so they were really nice. The last one is called Andy... Nate Frost, uh, they're, they're two guys that hang out, do podcasts, they seem like they don't give a crap what people think, and I like that mentality, and they're just enjoying it. For me, I would like if everyone left a like, commented, checked out my other videos, and subscribe. I did make another video the other day about a bunch of horror video games that were fantastic, that involved eating people as mutants when you look like carnage and such, and even more, there's a lot of blood and gore inside of them, so check them out as well too, and don't forget to like this video, leave a comment. The rest of the 
videos that they have here are going to be either podcasts or music that they've made themselves. It's pretty much what they do. The music that they have is really good too. I would consider checking them out. Very fantastic. I subscribe. Maybe you will too. Thanks for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed. I have a fantastic Friday everyone and don't get too crunked up man. Enjoy the rest of the friggin' day.